Hi, my name is Kate Peterson. I'm a licensed veterinary technician and a faculty member here at Austin Community College in the Veterinary Technology Program. Today, I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to keep your cat happy and healthy. Let's get started. Taking your cat to the vet regularly is an important part of keeping your cat healthy. At these yearly visits, your veterinarian's gonna do a wellness exam, checking your cat over, checking all their body systems, making sure they're healthy. During these visits, they can also get vaccines. And there's some vaccines that your cat has to have every year. Uh, one of those vaccines is the rabies vaccine. It is required by law to prevent rabies in the cat. Another vaccine that your cat can get is the FVRCP vaccine, and this stands for feline viral rhinotracheitis, Colisi virus, and panleukemia. These are three viruses that cats can obtain. This vaccine is really helpful in keeping them healthy. Another vaccine that they may need is the feline leukemia vaccine. The feline leukemia vaccine is only needed for cats that go outside and interact with other cats. So if your cat only stays inside, then it doesn't need that vaccine. Your veterinarian would have more information about which vaccines are best for your pet. Another important part of keeping your pet healthy is keeping them free of parasites. Those parasites can include fleas and ticks. We have monthly products we can place on your pet to keep those away from them. In addition, we also have to be worried about heartworm disease in cats. While it's not super common in cats, if they do get, obtain heartworm disease, it can be deadly. And there's not an approved treatment for it, so we want to prevent this disease. Another part of keeping your cat healthy is making sure that they have been spayed or neutered. This prevents any unwanted pregnancies, as well as prevents some behavior issues and certain diseases and cancers in cats. If your cat hasn't been spayed or neutered, there are a lot of great low-cost options here in the Austin area to get them spayed or neutered. Our cats need proper nutrition, and cats are actually true carnivores, meaning that they're meant to eat meat. <laughs> so it's important to make sure they have a good, healthy diet. Uh, in addition, cats also aren't great at drinking water, so we wanna make sure they have plenty of fresh water. A nice way to help supplement your cat's drinking of water is to feed them canned food. And canned food actually has higher protein amounts in it as well, that can be beneficial for their carnivore diet. Let's talk about litter boxes. Having a litter box is an important part of having a cat. We know that they need to go to the potty. So the type of litter box you have is gonna be dependent on what your cat likes. There's a lot of variety of types of litter boxes and some cats prefer one type over the other. There's not really a best one. The same goes with the type of litter you use. Some cats like clumping litter, some cats like non-clumping litters. There's certain scents cats like. They can be very particular animals. So you just wanna find out what works best for your cat. It should be located in a place where your cat feels safe and there's not a lot of loud noises. So we wanna be careful not to put it by something that makes a loud noise or your cat's gonna be scared and not wanna use the litter box. The other important thing about litter boxes is the number of litter boxes you have. The number of uh, litter boxes you need depend on the number of cats you have. So the number of cats you have plus one is the number of litter boxes you need. So if you have two cats, you need three litter boxes. If you have four cats, you'd need five litter boxes. The safest place to keep your cat is indoors. Uh, but while they're indoors, we wanna make sure they have good environmental enrichment and things that make them happy. Providing them good surfaces for scratching is important, as well as places for them to climb and hide. Keeping your cat pretty is another important part of keeping them happy. Uh, cats do like to look good, and they do a good job bathing themselves, but sometimes they need a little extra help. We can trim their nails, and we can also use brushes to groom them. Uh, it may take a little bit of patience with your cat to get used to these things, but a little bit of time, they'll enjoy it. <laughs>
Thank you for watching this episode of ACC Experts on Cats. My name is Kate Peterson. If you'd like any more information on adopting these cats, please visit austincc.edu backslash pets. See you next time. Thank you.